everybody. Welcome to Kiki Loves Nigeria. I am your host, Kiki. And hey, tonight, I want to do a video called The New Colonizers in the Gambia. The New Colonizers in the Gambia. But as we like to call them on Kiki Loves Nigeria, which was suggested by Joanna, are the broke colonizers in the Gambia. Yeah, these new colonizers are broke, but nonetheless, they still want to exert control over the Gambia. But the way these new colonizers are exerting control is economically, so they think in their heads with their little dollars. Yeah. So you know people who think they have economic power, some people, they treat others bad. They tend to look down on other people. That's one thing I noticed about uh, people who um, who are elitist, have this elitist economic attitude, okay? So that's one thing that you'll notice, that these new colonizers, they, they don't even pretend like they don't look down on the Gambians. They let you know that the Gambians are, 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 are less than them, pretty much. Yeah, that's what I'm about to show you in this video. Yes, so the new co the new broke colonizer in the Gambia that we like to call them, thanks to Johanna, is that this person is Aja Afrique. Aja Afrique is a broke colonizer because this colonizer, this new colonizer, could not even afford to pay her employee forty delasi a month. She claimed that the employee wasn't worth 40, no, I'm sorry, not 40 Delasi, $40 a month, 2,000 Delasi a month. She claims this, she told this lady she wasn't worth 2,000 Delasi, which is $40 a month because she had no professional experience. And plus she was giving her all types of discounts and perks for working for her. Plus she provided lunch. Okay, so the, other than, along with her not having enough experience to get $40, she was giving her other things as perks to offset the money. Okay, so that's number, I don't know if that's one, that's number one. Okay, number two, this woman clearly believes in her heart that the Gambian people are nothing more than thieves. Thieves. I mean, thieves will steal anything. Let me prove my point. In her video, I'm going to show you the clip. She talks about grapefruit seeds, how she, the Gambian people stole her grapefruit seeds. Okay? In the video, the clip I'm going to show you, she says, she was eating a grapefruit. She saved the seeds. She came back the next day. The seeds were gone. The Gambian stole her seeds because they did not have enough money to buy seeds. This is a broke colonizer. Only a broke colonizer would think like that. Only a broke colonizer would instantly think the people that I came to settle amongst are so lowly that they steal seeds. That they're so broke and so hungry that they still steal grapefruit seeds. Not once considering that there are birds everywhere in the Gambia. You don't think those birds could have ate those seeds? That's number two. Reason number three. This woman is a new, one of the new broke colonizers in the Gambia. Number three. This woman physically, physically assaulted her Gambian employee because she caught her stealing a pair of leggings and a scarf. Okay? She caught her stealing a pair of leggings and a scarf. But let me tell you how this went down. 
So let me first qualify this by saying employee theft is a big problem in the United States. So employee theft is nothing new. But to a broke colonizer who's just surviving from dollar to dollar to dollar, yeah, employee theft is, hey, I'm going to fight over that. Because this woman tells you, not in this video, in another video, she tells you that when she gets angry, her first resort, the first thing she resorts to is putting you in a headlock. This grown woman in her 50s, according to her, she's a 60s baby. That makes her in her 50s, according to her, in her own video. So this grown woman in her 50s, when she gets angry, she resorts to putting people in a headlock. Now think about that. Okay, so what do you think she did to this employee? What do you think she did to this Gambian young lady when she caught her stealing? So let me tell you what she did to her. She physically assaulted her, okay? Here's the story of what happened. There's a clip at the end of the video. In the video, she tells how they're eating lunch. She provides lunch. You know, everybody knows tuna has a smell on it. Tuna salad has a smell. So she said, I'm going to go and ask the people, you know, who work with me, stores around me for soap, liquid soap. So she says when she leaves, the girl is still sitting there. You know, they're not eating. They're, they're still eating. So she, I guess they're finished or halfway finished. So she said when she comes back, the girl is hanging clothes. Then she says the girl is in the back with a bag, tying the bag in a knot. Okay. So then I was confused. I was like, okay, was she in the front of the store or was she in the back of the store? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But let me finish. That's a credibility problem, okay? That right there lets you know this person has a credibility issue, in my professional opinion, from, from researching quantitatively what people say. People who switch up stories like that where they don't make sense, that's because it didn't happen like that, okay, in my professional opinion. So she says that she comes in and the lady is hanging the clothes. But then she says, but then she's in the back of the store tying the bag. She says she goes to the lady in the back of the store, okay. Then she asks the lady in the back of the store, who, who, are, who is her employee, what was in the bag? Or why is she, no, she says she's tying up her lunch. She said, well, here, put it in this plastic bag. The lady said, no, I'm not, I don't want to put it in a plastic bag. It's fine the way it is. So she was like, I, I'm just still trying to be helpful. So I'm like insisting. Did I write insisting? She said, so I'm still trying to be helpful. I'm still trying to be helpful, okay? Um, and um, she's she's not uh, letting me put the in, put the tuna in the plastic bag. And I'm telling her this soon it will, the tuna will leak, leak all over everything, okay? So it sounds like to me at that point, they're pulling the bag. They're going back and forth like this. Like she's saying, let me help you. And she's saying, no, I got it. She's saying, let me help you. And she's saying, no, I got it. So they're having this tug of war over the bag, okay? And how you know this is what happened is because she says, I took the bag from her. So after this tug of war, she says she looks in the lady's eyes and she realized the lady is lying to her about something. So she took the bag. No, hold on, let me back up. No, excuse me. She said she took the bag and then she smacked her hand off the bag. And when she smacked the lady's hand, she smacked her back. Now think about that. If I smack your hand, is that going to smack you, make you fall back? Or if I smack your face, is that going to make you fall back? Fall backwards. Which one? If we're pulling on a bag, but you said you took the bag. She said she took the bag at 4 minutes and 38 seconds in the video. She said she took the bag. And then she smacked her hand off the bag. It sounds like to me. She smacked her face. The woman fell back. I don't know. I wasn't there. But just from the story she's telling, that wasn't a smack on the hand. Smack your hand, your hand just gonna go away. But smack my face, 
smack me hard enough when I'm unexpecting it, that's going to throw me off balance. And we've already established that the, the lady was not going to tell the truth because first she said she was in the front of the store and then she said she's in the back of the store. And I'm only analyzing this situation like they would do in a court of law because if she was here, she would be in jail right now for assault. She would be in jail for assault, okay? Not only would she be facing criminal charges, she'd be facing civil charges. Okay, so after that, she said she smacked the lady's hand and the lady fell back, okay? Now, her, her, her words were, she moved her hand. She moved her hand, okay? She moved her hand and she said uh, she must have moved it kind of hard because she fell back. What does that sound like to y'all? She smacked her hand or she smacked her face real hard and she fell back. So after that, she says she gets the bag. She got the bag now. The lady, the lady done fell backwards and everything. So she got the bag now. She says she opens the bag and there it was. There it was. A pair of leggings and a scarf. The lady was still in the leggings and a scarf. She knew she was still in. That's why she was doing all that. So she said, she told the lady, get out of here. Don't come in here no more. You're done in here. And it was payday. And I gave her her hundred delasi. Think about that. One hundred delasi is what she paid this woman. Okay? Broke, col broke colonizer. Broke colonizer. Okay? So then you wonder why the woman's stealing from you. You ain't giving her nothing. She don't want your food. She probably don't even eat your food. She wants some money. She need money to live. You won't even pay this woman a, a living wage, but I guess you paying her a living wage according to Gambian standards. Broke colonizer. Okay? So, after she assaulted this woman and the woman left, okay, Somebody wanted her to hire them back, and you know, it's just a whole story. You can go watch the video and see. But my point is this this is a story of a broke colonizer. You couldn't pay this woman $40, you couldn't pay her $40 a month. Okay, the woman stole something from you. But see, the, the law is you didn't even give her a chance to complete the theft. How do you know she wasn't going to pay you once she got paid? Because you said they could buy whatever they want to and they, they could pay you and you would uh, give them a discount. You don't know that. See, these are the questions they're going to challenge you with in a court of law in the United States if you had done that here. If she had done that here, these are the questions they would say. This is what the prosecutor would say. How do you know that? How do you know she wasn't waiting for you to give her that hundred jalousy so she could pay you for those clothes? How do you know that? You don't know, ma'am. Because you assaulted her before you paid her. You assaulted her and didn't give her a chance to explain anything to you. I'm not saying the woman wasn't stealing. But what I'm saying is what the prosecutor is going to say to her. When they're charging her with criminal charges. Because it gives you no right to put your hands on anyone. Especially over money. A hundred delasi. How much was that little clothes they were selling? Some used clothes? How much was that? But you assaulted this woman? Claim you slapped her hand. But whatever you slapped, face or hand, you slapped it so hard that she fell backwards? And then you come on YouTube and tell us about it? These are broke colonizers. Only a broke person would do that. Only a person with nothing, who's used to nothing, would do that. Only that. That is a crime. These these colon these new colonizers in the Gambia, they come on YouTube every day, all day, and tell us about their crime. So this is another crime they the, the broke colonizers have confessed to assaulting their employees in the Gambia. So all right, check out the video, y'all. I'm done. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think she slapped her hand or do y'all think she slapped her in the face and she fell backwards? Either way it go, it's assault. I'm out. Wide open to the highway, and there's really no, no one, like, right? There are people next to me, but they're a little bit of a distance away. So if I want to go to the restroom, do I want to take the chance of locking myself up in the bathroom and somebody just walk in with something and go? Because it's possible. Like, I was eating a grapefruit the other day, and I decided to sit 
right outside the door and eat the grapefruit and all of the full of seeds. Like I'm not used to grapefruits with all of these seeds. So I started saving the seeds to dry in the sun. So the next day, you know, the seeds were still there. I go to run down to my neighbor two doors over to take care of something. And I thought I kicked something. So when I came back, I realized that I had kicked the paper that my seeds were on. I was like, oh, I must have kicked them out. But you know, if you kick something, there's some evidence of it around. And that's when I realized somebody came by and stole my seeds, y'all. They stole the grapefruit seeds. So it could have been something that maybe someone couldn't afford. So they decided that um, they were going to take what I left there. Or maybe they thought I was leaving it for them. I don't know. But you don't take stuff without permission, right? So that was a lesson for me that I can't like really think or close my eyes and not pay attention to um, things that are happening around me. So I'm making sure that I'm paying attention. I'm not just walking off and going to do things without someone in the shop. So I hired this girl, right? A friend referred her. Uh, this is my, uh, one of my business partners that's going to be doing the juicing part of the business with me. He referred this girl and um, she, I interviewed her previously. She was young, about my son's age, you know, seemed very um, receptive to taking instruction, to learning new things. So. I was really looking forward to working with her. Um, it took a while for us to get the shop open because during the rainy season, they had to address a moisture problem. And the owner was just like, I can't guarantee you the problem is going to be gone by the time you want to get into the shop. So give me more time. So I didn't open when I wanted to. Um, so I waited. When they addressed the problem, he called me and said, listen, I need you to come through. I think we took care of the problem. Um, storage drum. She seems to take instruction okay. I noticed that though there's certain things missing in translation, so I'm not sure how good her English is. Um, when I would send her to the store, she would come back with like the opposite thing, and I'm like, no. So then I would walk her back to the store and explain to her why there was a difference between paper towels, napkins, and tissue, right? Because I sent her for paper towels, she came back with tissues. So, um, that was it, you know, little things like that. So um, this one day we were eating tuna because I would bring in breakfast and of course I'm making lunch. So I made tuna salad that day. And so of course, you know, we have tuna on our hands and I don't want her to touch the clothes that she's hanging with the tuna. So I said, well, let me run over here and get some hand soap. And I didn't even think to send her because I had a feeling she would come back with the wrong thing because I wanted liquid soap. So I go, take my bag, I put my hotspot in there, I put my phones in the bag, I go two doors over, come back, and I see her standing over her bag. So I'm like, now, I left her at the front of the store um, hanging pants. So why is she now with the whole chair pulled next to her, tying her bag tight? So I'm like, um, you know, what's going on? So she's like, oh, oh, I was just putting my lunch away. So I'm like, okay, you know, me still trying to be helpful. Um, well, why are you putting your lunch in like, you know, the disposable bags? Why don't you use a plastic bag so that the tuna salad dressing, right, <laughs> doesn't, um, doesn't uh, seep into what you have in the bag? So she's kind of just looking at me like, no, no, it's okay. And I said, no, no, get the bag. So I go get the plastic bag. I'll come back. I'm like, give me the food. So she's like hesitant. So I'm like, like, what's the problem? Give me the food. So I take the bag to open it and she's holding it tight. She's squeezing it so I can't open the bag up. So I'm like, what is up with you? How am I supposed to get this in if you don't open the bag? And when I look in her face, I see this look of, you know, like a kid with their hand caught in the cookie jar. You're not supposed to be eating. So I'm like, okay. I said, open a bag. She didn't want to open the bag. I asked her again. She didn't want to open the bag. She didn't want to move her hand. So I moved her hand out the way. When I moved her hand out the way, she kind of went back, and the bag opens. When the bag opens up, I see her purse is half open, and there's a pair of leggings in there, a pair of velour leggings. And join us January. That's what we doing? Oh, you're done, right? She couldn't even look at me. She just had her head down the whole time. 
I was like, get your shit and go. And she went to turn to go. And again, her head is down. I said, wait a minute, because it was payday, right? Went to my bag. I got a hundred Delasi and I sent her on her way. Um, I called my business partner, like, you know, you referred this thief to me. So what's up with that? I was trying to explain. He was so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, listen, don't refer nobody to me that you cannot vouch for. Like, you're supposed to know that from the gate of how you're supposed to proceed. I even was practicing with her how 